there's life on the moon. No joke, stay tuned to learn all about it. And if you enjoy this video, we would be really happy if you give it a thumbs up. Welcome to Space Ping. Our moon is a hostile environment with no oxygen and full of deadly radiation. But one animal can survive there. Tardigrades. Maybe you've heard of these tiny animals. Tardigrades are perhaps the most fascinating creatures of all. These little critters can survive almost anything. Immense heat, massive cold and even the deadly radiation of space. That's right, you could shoot tardigrades into space and they wouldn't die instantly. How do these tiny creatures manage to be so resistant to environmental conditions? First and foremost, it's because of their DNA. Scientists have discovered that tardigrades have stolen their DNA together. Tiny cute DNA thieves, so to speak, who have picked out the best genes and are now so powerful that they could join Marvel's X-Men or something like that. You can think of it this way. Tardigrades have simply replaced parts of their own genome, that is, their genetic material, with characteristics of other creatures. 17.5% of their genes are not their own. And how do you steal other genes? By using a horizontal gene transfer. As researcher Bob Goldstein, who was involved in a major study about tardigrades, describes it, tardigrades can not only repair their own damaged DNA when the cells rehydrate, but in the process they can also insert foreign genetic material, creating a mosaic of genes from different species. Meaning that when tardigrades come under stress, their own DNA becomes brittle and crumbly and becomes permeable to other DNA and molecules such as those from bacteria. So watch out the next time you're under stress, folks, you end up with permeable DNA and become a mutant. Tardigrades also have another impressive skill. When they're in danger, when environmental conditions become worse, they can go into a deep sleep. This is called cryptobiosis. They then contract and can, in principle, survive almost any apocalyptic event for an almost indefinite period of time. It's as if we humans could just die, wait for a crisis to end and then wake up again. That would be really cool for the next math exam in school. In cryptobiosis, tardigrades can then withstand temperatures as low as minus 250 degrees and immense radioactivity. Oxygen consumption is reduced to almost zero during this deep sleep. So tardigrades are genetic mutants that have kind of a death sleep as a superpower. If that's not a plot for the next Marvel movie, then I don't know. These amazing skills explain how tardigrades can survive on the moon. In the year 2019, they were shot to the moon by Israeli space probe Bereshit. Unfortunately, the space probe crashed and exploded, but scientists think that the tardigrades survived this crash. They now remain in cryptobiosis on the moon, waiting for better times. If we manage to bring astronauts to the crash site, they could wake up the tardigrades by just giving them water and oxygen. By the way, tardigrades are not the only organic material on the moon. The excrements of the Apollo astronauts are also lying around somewhere. That's right, astronauts also have to go to the bathroom. Their excrements have been lying on the moon in specially sealed containers for decades. Who knows how the bacteria have evolved during this time. Evolved alien excrement bacteria. What? Back to the tardigrades. Their abilities could be an important key for the colonization of alien planets and the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Perhaps hardy creatures like tardigrades will be an important foundation for our first bases on other celestial bodies. Some scientists even think that we humans could adopt tardigrade traits through genetic modification. Cryptobiosis, for example, could allow us to send humans through space for thousands of years, colonizing planets light years away. But I admit, that's probably still science fiction at this point. What do you think? Is it a good idea to send tardigrades to the moon or to space at all? Or do we just contaminate space when we do that? Feel free to write me your opinion in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, we would be really happy if you follow our channel to start your own journey into space. And for more space content, click on the video shown here. See you in the next video, take care and clear skies.